Hello to my beautiful friends, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Today is a lazy recording day. I've still got my hair all up and it's really messy, and yes, we are going to play Chrono Trigger and hopefully convince Bear and the Frog to be on our team. I hope so. You've come again. This sword. No, it could not be. The Masamune. Well. Well, Baron. I must ponder this turn of events. You may remain here for the night. So we have to stay with Baron. Oh. What's happening, you guys? Cyrus? You're leaving, aren't you? I am. It's a long past time we reclaimed the badge from the Frog King. And I need to see that sword with my own eyes. Cyrus, this kingdom has need of you. Lean and I need you as well. See that you return. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall come what may. Well then, by your leave. All this fancy talking all of a sudden. So he's on his way. Sir Cyrus. On behalf of the knighthood, we wish you a safe journey and Godspeed. My brothers. I trust the kingdom's protection to you. See that she is kept safe from her enemies. Off he goes. Pardon the delay. Let us be on our way. Glenn, you be careful, too. Be well, your majesty. And off he goes. Ooh. They're having a hard time against those snake women. <gasps> and frogs. So, you seek the hero's badge. Knight of the kingdom of men. Come and take it then, if you can. Croak. This is what I meant to do. This is what I mean to do. Nirvana strike. Croak. I'm beaten. F -f -f Filthy badge. Do not think I'll forget this. And off goes the frog. He looked like a frog king, don't you think? Glenn, Glenn, watch out. Cyrus, your sword. The Masamune. What's happening? Gah, is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing. The cats are fighting. You've not bested me yet. Cyrus, I'm done for. Listen to me, Glenn. I will hold them here. Use that chance to escape. But... Stay, and they'll only kill us both. Go, Glenn. Hadn't you better worry about yourself, Cyrus? I do not think you've the time to be concerned with the well-being of others. This is it, Glenn. Go. Oh. Cyrus. Run. Run, Glenn. The Queen. Take care of Queen Lean. I beg. Cyrus? Cyrus? No! It's so sad, you guys. Hmm. What's the matter? Are you not going to try your luck? <sighs> little s <laughs> Like a scared little frog with no pond to jump into. How about it, Lord Magus? Can't you give him a fitting form? Very well. 
No act of defiance goes unpunished. No! And that is how he became... our Baron. His name was Glenn. That's more like it, you spineless wimp. Oh, poor Baron. So, he used to be a human. Ten long years have passed. Have I the strength? Oh, Cyrus. Poor thing. Awaken, Chrono. I do not know how far my skills will carry me, but I will put them to the test. Let us go to Magus Keep. His strength is no small thing. Do you understand the odds that we face? Nothing can beat science. The good guys always win. All right then, so. Let us take, we'll do Luca, and I'm gonna go see if Baron can learn any magic, because I feel like we should do that. I was just making sure there was nothing there. So, we got through all that. We learned that our little frog used to actually be a person, and he's been cursed by Magus. I mean, to be fair, he looks very cool as a person, or a, as a frog person, but that's a really, really sad story, and that is something that I've never seen. We are now at the part of Chrono Trigger that I've never played before, so all of this is new to me. So if anyone else is new to the series, I don't know what happens from here. If you've seen this before, I guess I also don't know what happens from here. But I'm really excited. Someone in the comments before told me to make sure to go back and teach. To teach the frog magic. So we are going to make sure to do that. I'm letting him fight all of these things. But we're definitely going to teach the frog magic. I'm curious what he has. I wonder if it's water because he's a frog. Maybe that's too much of a stereotype, but I guess we'll find out. I wonder if we have any abilities that we can use with him by our side. I'm excited to find out. There's noisy kitties over there. Let me see. Oh, X strike. Let's see what that does. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, the snake bites that frog. What else does he know? Slurp slash. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, then he attacks the frog and he takes a note. And then Chrono attacks the snake. <laughs> okay, awesome. Let's go down here. And let's go ahead and return and teach him that lovely magical move. Let me see. go up, 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 and I can go over to the right, 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 and let me go ahead and also save the game, definitely need to save the game, there we go, Baron's only level 19, you guys, we need to level him up, we do want to help him seek revenge on Magus for what was done to him. And of course, they come and attack us. Let's make short work of them. X strike. Fire. Death to you. Beautiful. All of those delicious items. Items make me so happy. I love when I get them. I feel like it's a it's almost like it's a tip for doing a good job in battle. There we go. 
All right. Back to the end of time. I like this place a lot. Okay. Hello, everyone. Let's go in here. Hi. Oh, he looks different. Now there's a weird fellow. Looks like his power is water and a frog, who'd have guessed? Thank you. I knew it was gonna be water, because he's a frog. He learned to use magic. Sure, let's try it out. All right. Is he gonna attack first? Ouch. <laughs> of course she died. Okay, so go to single tech. Combos, water, tech. I'm just using normal tech. The water looks really cute. It's like a bubble attack. Chrono, is Chrono gonna die? Don't die, Chrono. Whatever you do, your physical attacks don't work. There we go. I was like, where is my lightning move? And the frog died, of course. This is the best training battle I've ever experienced. It's just so good. Now he's gonna kill Chrono. <laughs> Chrono dies. Did we do a good job? Hee hee hee, I win. <laughs> you make any new friends, you bring them to see me, you hear? I like you guys. Yeah, after you killed my whole party. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen if we lost. I was just kind of curious. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Now, one thing I'm curious about is we can go to where Magus is if we want to. Or, we can check this out first. It's the Arena of the Ages, and I was debating whether or not to bring us here during this playthrough, but somebody said that they hadn't seen it before, so for this episode, I'm going to go ahead and take us here, okay? We're going to go to the Arena of the Ages, so you, at least you guys get to see what it is. It's very interesting. <laughs> what is this place? Is this your first visit? Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the Arena of the Ages. The Colosseum hosts battles between monsters from all across time. I am the Stable Master. Come over here, will you? You want to run down? Yeah, let's get one. These are monster stables. We raise them up strong here. Even monsters need training if they want to be tough. What do we train him for, you ask? Why, for fighting, of course. Then we set him against each other in the pit. Ooh. You want to stage a fight? You tucked that guy over there in the armor. The blue faced fellow with the winsome smile, he's a merchant. There are a lot of specialized items that we use for training and battling beasts, and he deals in the tools of the trade. You'll want to talk to him later on. Well, that's the meat and bones of it. You'll catch on quick, don't you worry. Oh, one more thing, though. This is important. Time flows a little differently here. You might call it a different dimension altogether. If you came from the end of time, that old man can probably keep things straight for you. But if you came from anywhere else, everything that happened here will be washed away the second you leave. If you don't want that to happen, you'd best save your progress over there before you go. Okay. Make sure you save in here. Good to know. Oh, but if you came from somewhere other than the end of time, we can't have you keeping records of this place now, can we? Tell you what. If you came here from somewhere else, I'll add a note of what happened here to the last record you made. Whenever and wherever that was. That would be more convenient for you anyway, wouldn't it? That's a bit confusing, don't you think? 
Have you earned your monster's trust? If your monster doesn't trust you very much, it probably won't use the items you give it in battle. You'll gain more trust the more your monster fights. Let it do some training and fight a few battles, and you'll start to develop a better bond. Has your monster learned any techs yet? Mine finally learned a fire tech. My dad told me the item your monster takes with it when you send it out to train affects what it learns. I gave mine a flame claw. So that's good to know. Got the itch to raise yourself a monster, eh? Yes, we do. All right, I'll give you one. You just pick the one you want. Okay. Oh, we get to choose between the different colors. That orange one's got fire affinity. Blue, water affinity. Yellow is light and purple is shadow. They're just smidges now. Itsy bitsy monsters, but go on and take your pick. Gee, I, I wonder, I wonder which one. I kind of want this one, the purple. Shadow, yes. Take good care of it and raise it up tough. I like the purple, he's so cute. Hello, are you our new pet? One more thing, here's a little gift for you. Oh yeah? Monster Trainer Starter Kit Slops, Flame Claw, Sea Fang, Dust Sky, Lux Wind, Hawk Talon, Shield Cloak, and Feral Wrath The items in the Starter Kit are things you'll need while you're ra <laughs> raising that monster For instance, you'll need to give your monster an item to carry with it when you send it off for training The one you give it will determine the outcome of its efforts you can also pass items to your monster during duels in the pit, you know, to help the critter out. If you run out, you can buy more from the merchant over there. Best to stock up in advance, though. Oh, and I suppose I should explain a bit about training, too. And the ambulance goes by my apartment. If you decide to send your monster out for training, you'll have to choose an era. Sending it to different eras will cause it to grow in different ways. Of course, you can only send it to time periods that you've already visited. So if you want your monster to progress in its training, you'd best progress with your quest. Alright, let's take a look at how strong it is. So, our strongest attribute, I don't know if you can hear the sirens, is magic defense and magic. Ooh, we're not so high in trust right now. Or stamina. Everything else is pretty even. I can toggle the display. So many ambulances. If you ever want to take a closer look at your monster's abilities, or send it off for some training, just come and talk to me. Very good. Let's talk to these people first. Do you know your monster's elemental affinity? You have to pay attention to that when it's dueling, you know. Monsters do more damage when they use techs that match their own affinities, but if they use a tech that matches their opponent's affinity, it won't be very effective. So basically, Pokemon rules. Pokemon rules. Hew, hew, hew. Let's see. Talk to this one. So that's the pit where we can fight. And we're not going to let it fight yet. We don't want it to do that, so... We did want to see, let me see what this guy has for sale, but what do you have? Oh, we can buy things with actual money? Oh, that's good. He doesn't have any weapons, but he's got stuff that we can buy. Is there anything really expensive? Boosts critical hit damage. Reduces physical damage. Oh, these are cool. Good, so we've got basically one of everything again thank you all right so let's go ahead and send him out we would like to train our monster please select an item and era what shall we give it let's give it a dusk eye so that we can teach it some dusk moves let's do that and where should we send him 
We can train for speed, strength, max HP, accuracy, and stamina. Let's start out with strength. Okay. It's gonna go away into a little warp thing now. <gasps> Look at that. Return strong. Don't hurt yourself. Your monster is safely on its way. I take it you'll be off again as well? Your little darling should return before too long. Give it some time and then check back. Cool, so now we can... Return? Yes. Look at that, now we've got a little monster. And I'm going to... He didn't let me name him. But I'm going to call him Aoni. From the gameplay series of Aoni. If you haven't seen it, I do have a playlist, and it's terrifying. <laughs> it's an older series that I did. It's not ASMR, but it's very enjoyable. And I'm actually not too sure where we're supposed to go now. Alright guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. I want to train up Baron just a little bit to get him up with our team. And kind of just make everyone a little bit well around it before we venture on to the next chapter. So I'm sorry if this episode was a little shorter than normal, but I think that that's best. At least we got to find out how Baron came to be Baron the Frog. We got to return the sword, and we also got to get a little creature that we are going to train, and I'm really excited about. And today is Friday. I'm so hyped for the weekend. I am... Um, this weekend, I might get to see some family, and I get to do some makeup for a film, which I'm excited about. I get to I get to put makeup on people and make them look scary and sick and all that fun stuff, so I'm really excited for that. I hope it goes good, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, please leave a thumbs up down below, leave a comment, and if you haven't, check out the other series I'm doing of Sakura Dungeons. A little quirky, a little lewd, a little weird, but it's been really fun to record and I'm enjoying it. So, yes, I'll see you guys in the next video.